Upon receiving the chisel stylus for your trilobite air scribe, you'll also receive this particular spring that has two ears on either end. If you take a look deep down inside the head of your trilobite, you might need to clean it up a bit if you've, if you've used it frequently, but you'll see another small hole besides the larger central hole where the stylus goes. On the pusher plate of the stylus, you'll also notice this little hole here. The idea is to have one of the ears of the, of the, of the spring inserted into that and the other one into the auxiliary uh, hole in the bushing. Easiest way to do that is just to put the spring right in like that, drop the stylus in and if you notice that it's sitting <clears throat> flush to the level of the head or above it it means that the two ears are not aligned. So you just grab the chisel and gently twist until you feel them clicking and you can rotate the head or the stylus but not through a continuous rotation. Then you assemble the rest of the pen and you're ready to go. After assembling the chisel stylus in the trilobite air scribe you can turn the device on like that if you find that it doesn't work immediately as you twist it, you know the old trick, just give it a tap on, uh, on the rock. Very important, because of the angles on the chisel, the flat chisels, they are meant for the softer rocks. Don't use this please on harder matrices or pyritic matrices, you will chip the corners. And also, don't go at a high angle, try to go at a lower angle. 10, 20 degrees or thereabouts and don't force the stylus in just let it gently do the work as you can see the chisel does not rotate in use and also as with all, all air pens just use the minimal amount of pressure required to do uh, to do the job if you push the pen to about eight bars or seven bars you will find that the stroke becomes increasingly long and there is the risk of breaking the spring on uh, on the inside so again just minimal pressure to get the, the job done and it should last you a very long time